crack the code on how to make art uh, with meaning behind it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I was never like able to do this until very recently, um, but I did it and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> this piece has meaning behind it. I'm not gonna tell you what the meaning is because I feel like if I do that, that kind of ruins it. And when you look back at all those like old paintings and stuff, you never know like the real meaning. You just have to just turn it for yourself, and that's why it's like cool or whatever. I don't want. I also just don't want to sound pretentious. I think I'm definitely developing like a new sort of style with like the things around and just the way I paint in general is kind of different. Like I used to never blend anything on the canvas and kind of just like keep everything separate and go for like realism, realism. Uh, but I kind of just said fuck all that because <laughs> A, boring, B, I don't know, difficult, and it never really looks real anyway. So I was like, why don't I just fuck around and see if we can make something cool? And I did, so that's pretty sick. I like when plans like that turn out well. This wasn't even supposed to be that abstract of a painting, uh, but then it kind of turned into an abstract painting, which was usually the good ones. So, sorry, I keep looking up because every painting on my wall, I just realized is crooked. <laughs> Enjoy. So as always, I started with the sketch and I like to do the classic circle and then the line down the center for the middle of the face. And then I build the chin and jaw from that. I add in the line to mark where the eyes will be and then I start on the features. My sketches never really look good, uh, but that's fine because it's just the base for the paint. I always try to see what's coming next instead of what's already on the page uh, just so that I'm not worried about the final outcome yet because it's, it's just a sketch. It's not that deep. For this painting I challenged myself to only use the primary colors with the exception of white to make all my colors. I've done this before but I don't usually just because mixing the colors from scratch is kind of time consuming. I don't know what made me do want to do this. Uh, it sucked. <laughs> I started with the base under the eyes and then quickly decided that I wanted to do the whites of the eyes first because that's what I usually do. And I used a few shades of blue for the whites and not actual white because I never use actual white. And then I started building around the eyes with this purple shade and that's when the painting became this cool impressionistic vibe that I kind of liked. So instead of making it my underpainting like I originally planned, I just used a purple and blue technique for all of the shading. The rest of the face is pretty much the same. I did the base with this really pink peachy tone and then built on that with different reds or purple or blue depending on how the light hit.
I'm still pretty bad at painting lips. I kind of just dry brush darker blue on top of the light blue and hope for the best. I added a little upside down cross on the forehead where I guess the third eye would be just because I thought it would look kind of cool. Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing at this part. And I'm still shit at hair, so I tried this technique with the palette brush and just kind of laid color on. I don't know how I really feel about it, but I think it gives a piece of cool texture. Uh, the neck is where it gets weird so it looks like i didn't do that red line on purpose but i added it in for a reason and then i half covered it up with the skin tones And of course, I added the swirls of paint around the face and signed. All right, so it's done. Um, it looks pretty fucking sick, honestly. Um, I like the, the no pupils and everything. The original plan was actually to do like a regular portrait, like a realistic portrait, except the eyes uh, were gonna have lightning in them. And then there was gonna be like lightning coming up the neck as well. Um, but then I ended up doing that cool like purple and blue shading around that one eye. And I was like, damn, I might just do that for the whole thing. And honestly, that was the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I still have not figured out how to paint hair. It's just kind of there, but uh, overall I think this is really cool. Um, let me know if you can decipher the meaning behind it, because that would be really crazy if somebody did. Okay, that's it. Uh, see you next week.